Hi, it's me, Anne from uh, the blog AnneMakes.blogspot.com and of course Anne Makes the YouTube channel. Today I am sharing this travel luggage tag or bookmark or gift tag, whichever one you want. I'm using a pre-made canvas tag from Linny Blooms. It's raw canvas sewn over a layer of recycled paper and another layer of raw canvas stitched together so you don't have to do any of the stitching. I've covered that tag with a layer of gesso by Deco Art from their new multimedia line. Now I'm showing you the fabric that I'm going to cut a very tiny piece from. It is designed by a, a friend of mine, I hope she thinks I'm her friend, <laughs> uh, Kelly Panacci. She is a fabulous designer that uh, designs beautiful fabrics for Riley Blake. And I'm just deciding on which critter I am going to cut out. So I decide on the little dog on the flying bicycle. I just think that's a really appropriate design uh, to use on this travel tag. Now, I fast forward uh, parts of the video because otherwise it would be very boring for you. But here I'm just taking scissors and I'm trimming down the image. Uh, I'm trimming the excess gray around the image as the tag is, is fairly small. Now, I will put uh, a list of the supplies I used at the bottom of the video in the comment section. Uh, I'm using the DecoArt Media Fluid Acrylics in a Cobalt Teal U with the double-ended uh, pouncer that is also from DecoArts. It's a great way to apply paint very quickly to the tag. I go in now with some titanium white to make some little clouds. I do let the paint uh, dry in between layers. I just don't show you that boring part. Now here I'm just deciding exactly where I'm going to place the image after the paint has dried. These fluid acrylics are very bright, vibrant. They are made with high quality pigments. I love using them. And they go on very well on this uh, canvas. Now once my paint is dry, I am looking to see exactly where I will place the image and I will be using some Deku Page Sealer Glue Finish, which I show a little later. Right now I'm stamping with a stamp by uh, Inkabinkaboo. It says Journeys. It's a rubber cling stamp. And I'm using some Stazon pigment ink to stamp onto the painted fabric. And there we have it. I'm not happy that it's a, it's turned out so light, but later on I'm just going to go over that with a black permanent ink marker. There I'm fiddling again with my image. Uh, by the way, that is 100% cotton fabric, uh, which is excellent fabric for quilting also and for other fabric projects for sewing other or even non-mixed media. So there's the Deku Page Sealer Glue Finish, another product by Deco Arts. It goes on very well on the back of the fabric. I'm saturating the fabric image and I'm placing it on the tag. I'm going to add some of the sealer underneath the fabric image and then I'm going to go and seal the entire tag with at least two coats of this uh, just to make it durable. Again, I'm fast forwarding this part to uh, 
avoid losing your interest. Of course, I let this dry. Well, maybe I'm not letting it dry right away, but I do let it dry. And I trim off the extra little fibers uh, with the nonstick scissors by Westcott. And there's my tag, almost complete. It remains flexible and the image stays in place. There I'm using the uh, Marvy pen to just go back on the letters to make them pop. I'm also going to use the pen later uh, off video, off camera I should say, uh, to highlight the clouds. I think this will make a really cute embellishment as a gift tag, uh, which is what I intend to do with it. And it will also make a great luggage tag for the recipient. And then I'm going to show you the different types of rings that you can use yourself to attach this to a piece of luggage or any type of bag. Uh, those are binder rings, and I got those at the dollar store, I believe, and uh, the other ring is a shower curtain ring. So they're very inexpensive. I got these also at the dollar store. So they're a good way to hang this tag to your own suitcase or knapsack, whatever. Uh, but I'm not done yet. I, I want to add some ribbon, uh, and that's what you're going to see coming up next. I just grabbed some pieces of string and ribbons that I had left over from other projects. And now I'm just fiddling around trying to see what combination I prefer. So you can use anything, really to embellish the top part or to attach it. Here if I'm showing you a long piece of ribbon, I could have used it as a, a lanyard. But I decide on, on the smaller pieces to, as a decoration to use as my decorative gift tag. And I am including a ring with it for the recipient to use as a traveling luggage tag. I will include the links and the names of the products I used in this project. I want to thank you so much for coming by today. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave some comments. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them too. And uh, you can follow me on my blog as well at annakes.blogspot.com.